City. My name is Nick LaBeouf, and not only is this my first ever stand-up gig in New York City, uh, this is my first ever time being in New York City at all, and it's an honor to perform for you guys, it really is. I'm from Salem, New Hampshire, it's a small town, and I uh, just want to thank you all for coming out and letting me on the show. So, anyways, yeah, so I've been doing comedy for about four years. I started when I was 16, uh, I'm now 20. I know none of you believe me, because I look like a dad that shops at Paxson, but it's all good. I, uh, I recently got a job being the scrawniest guy at my local GNC. Um, for those of you not familiar, GNC is a place where men on steroids sell protein powder to skinny white kids. And basically all these guys are on roids. Half of them don't even look good. They're all covered in pimples, acne, scabs and shit. To me, the question of whether or not you should do steroids is pretty simple. Uh, would you rather look like a smaller, less muscular human or a lumpier, veinier cheese pizza from Domino's? <laughs> yeah, don't fuck with their hormones, man. Testosterone is responsible for things like facial hair, puberty, Spike TV, and both world wars. <laughs> it's also responsible for loud exhausts on shitty cars. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. I do not know who they're fooling. I do not know who's out there going, oh wow, that must be one of those fast, exotic Honda Civics. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I saw my friend at AutoZone recently. He got T-bone, that's why he was there. He goes, yeah man, it sucks, but that's what happens when you buy nice cars. And he points outside to his 1995 BMW 3 Series. That is not a nice car. Costs a thousand bucks, and the shift knob is a bottle of Coke. <laughs> Old cars are only nice if they have a heritage. You know what I mean? Like a Mustang or a Ferrari. The only heritage a used BMW 3 Series has is that a rich kid got his first hand job in the back seat. <laughs> so, yeah, so I work in the mall. It's not terrible, um, except for the fact that I have to pass by mall kiosk employees every day. You know the guys I'm talking about? wear black dress clothes, try to sell you lotion. <laughs> without consent. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I don't know. It's not like I'm passed by one or two of them either. It's like 30 of them, one after another. Mall kiosk employees are just human pop-up ads. People fall for that stuff, man. There's at least one person out there who thinks they won the free iPad. <laughs> Someone's got to tell them that stuff's not real. I think they'd be bummed. Wait, are you telling me that hot local MILFs aren't trying to fuck me? Well, that's a shock. So, yeah. <laughs> the other day, I met the biggest asshole in the world. And he is a Domino's driver that has a car identical to an undercover cop. Literally. Black Ford Crown Vic with a bull bar and a spotlight driving around delivering every drug addict's favorite brand of pizza. <laughs> Gave me a fucking heart attack. It's 2 a.m. I'm high as fuck. When I saw that guy pull up, I thought for sure that this was the final hour of my life as a free man. You know, I didn't know that buying Domino's at 2 a.m. was probable cause for the DEA to tear up your house. <laughs> but it might as well be. So who else does that? Who on earth is like, yes, I am perfectly sober and a nice meal from Domino's Pizza would really hit the spot. <laughs> if I called Domino's sober, I wouldn't even know what to say. Hi, Domino's Pizza, how can I help you? Hi, yeah, so uh, I don't do drugs and I still want food from here for some reason. <laughs> Can you save my soul? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you with this. My first time in New York was a lot like my first time having sex. I was very nervous, I finished early, and a guy named Nikki filled in for me when I was done, so thank you guys very much.